the way that the art world works, the model of it is that you sell these really expensive singular objects to a coterie of people who can afford them. In many other fields, like if you were a musician and you became more popular and more successful, you would become more successful by a larger amount of people accessing your work. But as an artist, it's quite different. As an artist, the traditional model is that you become successful by your prices rising, by a smaller and smaller amount of people being able to access your work. Now, I thought that was silly. I thought that, I thought that there's something wrong with a field where extreme success is defined as only having a few Russian oligarchs get to purchase your things. So I kind of redefined how to do the gallery show. I thought of a way to fund big labor intensive pieces by selling all the, the peripherals around them, all of the sketches, the notebook doodles, the little crazed coffee stained bits of inspiration that you get late at night. And in that way, people who were just, you know, middle and working class fans could fund big ambitious art and it could reflect their tastes.